former head of Steinhoff International Holdings, Mark Huster. He's being sued by no less than three South African lenders. He quit earlier this month following an accounting scandal in the company. This lawsuit comes after a racehorse company in which he was a director failed to meet its financial commitments. Mayfair Speculators owes Sanlam Capital Markets Arm Investec and ABSA, a banking unit of the Barclays Africa Group Limited, over $94 million. Now, both ABSA and Investec have gone to court to try and recoup the money and want Mayfair to be liquidated. The filings, though, do deepen Eustace's predicament. Fears around Steinhoff's accounting irregularities, which are still unidentified and undisclosed, have cut the share price by more than 90%. Investors have balked further at the lack of more information. And the billionaire chairman, Christovisa, also the biggest single shareholder in Steinhoff, has also quit as chair. So then, let's get the latest details on this evolving story. Angelo Coppola joins us now live from Johannesburg with more data on this. Um, Angelo, we're weeks into this scandal. We still do not know what these accounting irregularities are. Why is that? Well, it appears that the investigation is still in the hands of that enterprise chamber of the um, Amsterdam Court of Appeal, and that's where the holdup seems to be at the moment. It's decision, in fact, will only be released in January. Initially, we were told that the decision by this uh, court would be released today, in fact, and they got a note that in Steinhoff that the announcement is only due sometime in January, but no later than the 22nd. Um, there's no further information that was provided either by Steinhoff or by the court. So we're still in the dark about the details there. A company presentation earlier this week, though, did shed a little bit of light. Steinhoff now acknowledges that many operating companies rely on the group for working capital funding using the group debt structure and central treasury, which is questionable uh, as far as some uh, analysts are concerned. We also know that on December the 14th, the group debt stood at around $12.3 billion and it consists mostly of, un or almost entirely of unsecured capital structure with a negative pledges or a range of negative pledges applied or attached to it. This, analysts say, is also a big worry. Rama? Indeed, and Steinhoff's management, going back to that particular presentation, also said they can't provide further details on, and I'm quoting them here, the magnitude of the accounting irregularities that are under scrutiny. They also say when 2017 numbers will be out, or even the restated 26 ones will be out. I mean, there's a lot of things they say they can't do here. Why is that the case? Well, Steinhoff Investor Relations people are keeping their cards very close to their corporate chests right now. The reasons could range from waiting for the authorities to announce their decision to a more concerning problem that management possibly don't have any real insight into the depth of the actual problem. At the same time, we also understand that Dutch authorities announced today that they're going to be investigating Deloitte in Holland. That's after the South African Deloitte franchise had reported an issue and it's been investigated locally here by the Auditors Association. Meanwhile, there's no doubt that the new Steinhoff leadership team are probably working feverishly to get to the heart of the problem. But we hope that they're doing that and we hope that they can release some detail in the foreseeable future, Rama. Indeed, because they are running against the clock here. But let's step back away from the company's accounts. What is the latest on legal action against the company in South Africa? Are domestic fund managers like, say, the PIC, are they filing a class action suit against the company? Well, there's been no news on the local asset management front whether there will be a class action suit or not. Um, there have been calls, of course, that, and you'll know about these, that uh, Ramaphosa, the new ANC uh, boss, is planning to launch an investigation into the company specifically because of its government employee pension fund exposure to the group, which is now estimated to be to the, in, the, in the region of around 10% of the total ownership, uh, of the total value of the sign of group. So, the PIC own 10% of this business group, and it's in trouble. In related court action, as you mentioned earlier, APSA is trying to recoup some $20 million from that uh, racehorse company that Marcus Huster, the ex-CEO, was a director of until two weeks ago. That's now been postponed until February. So we're not going to see any action on that side. So this story or this saga has a long way to run, and there aren't going to be any happy people at the end of it, Raman. Indeed. One last question for you, Angelo. We've been seeing all week Christoph Issa, single largest shareholder in Steinhoff, uh, former chairman, also essentially selling blocks of his shares in, uh, in ShopRite. But that clearly can't continue forever because he's getting battered by margin calls. But the wider question is, at this point, can Steinhoff as a company, is it still salvageable? 
Well, I've been looking at some of the analyst reports, and some suggest that the group may be in trouble, but the operating divisions all seem to be fairly sound. So there is an opportunity there if the business units get sold off individually. Just as an aside, though, Visa is estimated to have lost around $3.6 billion um, in his, uh, as the share price has depreciated. Global banks have lost around $1.5 billion. And day traders won't even look at the stock because, again, nobody knows how deep the rot is and whether there will be a dead cat bounce at the end of it. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see on that one. But what's more interesting is that the primary listing exchange in Amsterdam hasn't suspended this trading in the stock just yet. And the JSC locally, which is the secondary listing, aren't, are, are following Amsterdam's lead. Analysts don't know if the group can be salvaged because they simply don't know what the details or the problems are and how deep the rot goes. But there, and also, you know, just added to that, there's been no real guidance from the company at all, except for that presentation or those presentations that we touched on a little earlier. Traders are hold, that are holding stock, of course, are keeping, sorry, let me say that again. Traders who aren't holding stock are keeping a wide berth, and those who are invested are holding their breaths, hoping that there'll be some kind of respite. Rama? Indeed, hoping against hope, perhaps. Let's see how this plays out. Angela Coppola in Johannesburg. Thank you.